I'm gonna show you how to create these content aware clone effects in After Effects in under five minutes. These content aware clones have become a little bit more popular, but I still think they're super underutilized with ways you can come up and make these look really creative. It's basically where the background where the person actually would be in the video is kind of like content aware, where it looks like it kind of just got removed from the scene. This is one of these effects that if you're really creative and you play around with the settings, you can create something that no one's created before. So let's hop into After Effects, show you how this clone effect's done, and then put our own twist on it. So starting off, just like every other clone effect, the first thing you want to do is rotoscope out your subject. So go to the rotoscope tool, get a good mask of your subject. And once you've done that, go ahead and click freeze. Now that we have our subject masked out, what you actually want to do is duplicate that layer, go to the rotoscope brush up here, double click on your subject, click freeze to actually unfreeze it, then go to invert foreground slash background, make sure that's checked and then refreeze it. What that's going to do is mask out everywhere besides where the subject was. So if you see the top layer, it's going to be the background minus the subject. And then the bottom layer will be the opposite actually. So if you combine both of them, it should look like a normal clip. Now to get that content aware effect, what we need to do is turn off the layer. So the transparency is where the subject is. And if yours doesn't show that transparency grid, just go down here to toggle transparency grid and make sure that's selected. And then that will show your subject as transparent. Then go over here to the right hand side where it says content aware fill. If you don't see that, you can go up to window and then make sure content aware fill is checked. Now under the content aware fill options, I normally have the alpha expansion right around 10. You can see here, the more you drag it up, the bigger it's just gonna try to fill out. And then the fill method, I normally do surface. You can play around with these settings. It all depends on your clip, but I found surface looks the best with lighting correction at strong. And then once you are all ready to fill the layer, look generate fill layer and it's gonna go through and actually just try to fill your subject kind of make it look like the background. Now, depending on the length of your clip and also the quality, it might take a little bit, but once you are done, it should look something similar to this. So now what I'm gonna do is actually drag that fill layer all the way down to the bottom and turn on the subject layer of the rotoscope. I went ahead and turned on all the layers and then also named them just so you guys can see a little bit easier what's what. This is the background layer, this is the subject layer, and then this is the content aware fill layer. Once you toggle them all on, the layer that you wanna play around with the most, most likely is the subject layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe that and move the position. That way he's out of the frame. And then let's go like 10 to 20 frames to the right. I'm gonna go 20 and then just reset that. I'm also gonna go to toggle switches mode, make sure the motion blur is on, and I'll highlight those keyframes and easy ease them. So now when we play that, you can see the subject now slides back into place. Now this is where you can get creative and create something that no one has before. You can add on different effects, transitions, and even presets onto the subject layer or honestly any layer to create something unique. Let's go ahead and drag on some presets for the sake of time and maybe something like whip left, you can see what that can do. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of stuff that you can do with effects create this look. The flow spiral looks crazy. Spiral this, that sauce. I think this one's probably my favorite, honestly. Let's stick with something like this and really solidify an effect here. You can probably even drag on something like a liquid explosion pack, like optics explosion. Something like that could be really cool in an edit or even just playing around with like sapphire distort. It'd be really cool. Have it start off at like zero and then slowly progress into an effect later on, kind of like shrinks away and then maybe back to zero. Let's see what something like that looks like. I'm just trying to show you examples of stuff that you can drag on because I've never used Sapphire Chroma Distort on a content aware clone like this. I think it could look pretty cool, especially in combination with other effects. Basically just play around with different effects, transitions, even presets on these clone layers, and you can get something really, really creative. If you wanted the preset packs that I used in this video, like the Motion Warp preset pack and the Liquid Explosion pack to just drag onto your subject and get those looks, I'll have them linked down below. It's available on my website, briandelmata.com. Great way to support the channel as well as get some really dope looks that are super simple to use. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace.